you watch your nostrils. Get out of it. Hey! Get off that. Hey! That's the potato. Get off that. Right then. It's another glorious day in the UK and spring has definitely sprung and it's a very busy time of year. I've got a lot more potatoes to plant yet and I've got sweet corn, sweet corn coming up, I've got my brassicas coming up, we've got beans coming up, so we've got a lot going on and we'll probably get a few frosts yet as well, so that's going to be a bit of a concern. But anyway, I've been out this morning with the dog and I've done me litter picking bit, just a small bag of litter because you could just go on and on and on and on and I brought back with me a stick well it's two sticks now because I've sawn it in half but it was one long stick uh, and this is it, it's fairly light wood fairly soft wood it's elder from the elderberry tree and my one little challenge today is the one stick dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my dinner using this stick which was one stick but I've sawn it in two but I'm going to start my fire using the stick as well. So to do that I'm going to make a bow drill set. think about uh, a bow. It doesn't have to, the bow doesn't have to be bent, it can be straight. I should have, I should have sawed it over there and collected all the, uh, collected all the shavings. Right, I think this is probably going to be the bow. It's alright the bow being bent but you don't want it bent in two directions like that's bent in that direction but it also bends up so that's no that's not much good. I suppose you could use it if you had to. I'll use this end here and then I'll take these knobs off with the with the knife or the axe. In fact it's got a nice little curve on it there. Just to hold the string away from the um, away from the bow itself. Hey, what's your nostrils? Is? <laughs> right, so we'll get the bow out of that. We're going to get the hearth somehow out of a section of this. I've got my standard selection of uh, <coughs> knives, my Manticore bushcraft knife. My Manticore legal carry folding knife and my um, Mora bushcraft black. Right, hearth. We're looking for a hearth. This looks as though it might make a nice hearth because the split uh, runs fairly straight down the grain instead of twisting. Hey, get your eyes away from this. So that's gonna that's gonna form our um, hearth board. And you can see that that pith there. <coughs> that pith running right down the middle in the sun. In fact that pith would probably make good um, 
fine ember material to capture, probably catch a spark in that in that stuff. But as it is, it's um, fairly sort of weathered. Right, I'll put the hearth in here for a minute, out the way. Right, so I'm trying to make the spindle now out of this thicker section. I might and I might not. We'll see how it goes. This knife will stand a lot more. See, there's, so there's a big knot here. I'm going to have to break through this knot. I've got the spindle down now to about an inch but I want to go down a bit further than that about three quarters of an inch I reckon uh, you can see that pith line there hopefully well, I'm not going to get rid of all of it but hopefully it won't impact too much so I Keep bearing in mind the roundness, so I'm not going to get all of that out, but I'll take it down a little bit further. Take it down to about three quarters of an inch. And that should do it. Okay, that'll do for now. Put a bit more point on here Right, so we've got the makings then, I know that's a bit short, but uh, it's what we had to go with. It's only going to have to start one fire. So that's the this bottom end is the half end, and the top, the sharper point, is the bearing block end. So you've got maximum resistance on the bottom and minimum resistance on the top. So that's the makings of the spindle. We've got the makings of the hearth there and now we've got a bearing block to make which is quite simple and because this wood's so soft I want to really get it into a knot or something so So that's a knot in the wood which is harder than the rest of the wood so if I can get 
uh, a divot in there that might last a bit longer than the bearing block, uh, than the hearth board at least. So I only want a little section for that. you need for the boat is some sort of cordage. Well I'm fortunate that uh, I've got it somewhere. Here we go. I've still got some cordage left that uh, my friend Mad Dog from Mad Dog Survival sent me. So this is the paracord that I think he, I think I think actually he sells it on eBay, and this is the. It's got the strands inside it, seven strands inside, and I'm going to use this for the. For the bow. So what were we using for the bow? This was the bolt. We need to take these knots off. And it doesn't need to be this long. So I'm going to shorten it and take the knots off. Right, so I've cut the groove for the top. And on the top, I'm just going to tie a Canadian jam knot. I've already got a knot tied in the end to stop from fraying and to stop the sheath slipping along the inners, you can see the inners sticking out there, seven strands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands with the outer sheath, so I've just got a straight overhand knot on the end, so I'm just going to tie it round and then tie a overhand knot on itself to form a slip knot or a Canadian jam knot so the more you pull on that the more it tightens up but you can easily get it undone again which is one good thing about a knot now this is I don't like cutting this but I'm going to cut it in this instance I'll just put a nick in the end of the bow to pull the cord into. No, you get out of it. Hey, come off there. She's, while I'm trying to saw this end, she's swinging on the other end. Hey, get out of it. So that'll jam in there like that. And I'll be able to wrap it round and control the tension. Hopefully. And what do you put what do you do when you put it in? You put it the wrong way round. The wrong way round and upside down. And it's not that tight. It's not that tight. Where's the where's the bearing block? I don't know whether you can see this. Anyway, that's gonna work. So we've got the bow, the makings of the hearth, the bearing block and the spindle. So it hasn't taken as long to make that but 
what we're going to be short of is all we're going to get out of this is an ember and then we need some sort of tinder bundle to put the ember into is it cheating to go get some grass for the tinder bundle no I don't think it is but uh, anyway I'll chop these sticks up for the fire Right then, I think I've got more than enough material there to cook my dinner on. Uh, but I have got some in reserve if I haven't. And then of course once we get the fire going, we've also got the bow drill set itself. And the dog's got another bit down there. So I'm going to leave it there for the minute because I have to go down to the farm now. Uh, so we'll get back and then we'll see if it all works. <laughs> 